Meng Huo repeatedly repelled the attacks led by Zhuge Liang. This success was due to the families of Nanjiang coming together as one under Meng Huo's leadership. He was determined to protect both his family and the land of Nanjiang. His strong will proved to be the difference in the battle. Meng Huo then met with the defeated Zhuge Liang face to face. He was eager to see what actions the Shu commander would take next. I am astonished. You managed to evade all of my well-laid plans. Of course! I am the great king! But I must know, why are you so driven to attack? Were you that angry about the attack that we mounted the other day? <sighs> we must attack the north. To do so, we must first befriend the south. Great King, Master Meng Huo, I have come to be your friend and ally. What's that? You want to be friends, so you come at me fighting? If I was just some pathetic weakling that perhaps could not fight at all, you would never consider calling me a friend. <laughs> That's true. I have to admit you're right. <sighs> but you're strong. I'm not talking about your arm. Or your head. Yeah, I'm in your heart. Hm. Come to think of it, you all have that same good look about you. All right. We of the South and you of Shu are family from this moment on. This should be fun. Huh? Brother? <laughs> <laughs>